You know, just when we thought things couldn't get more exciting with SpaceX's recent Starship launch, we got hit with a bit of a reality check. The Raptor engines experienced a major hiccup during the test. So, buckle up as we dive into this roller coaster of a story and find out what went wrong, why it happened, and what SpaceX is doing to fix it. In the midst of the awe-inspiring Starship launch, something unexpected happened. The Raptor engines failed. This advanced technology, supposed to propel us to the stars, fell short. But before we discuss the details of the failure, let's take a quick trip down memory lane and get to know the Raptor engines a little better. The Raptor engine is SpaceX's latest and most ambitious rocket engine design. It runs on liquid methane and liquid oxygen, making it both incredibly powerful and environmentally friendly. This beast of an engine generates an astounding 2,200 kilonewtons of thrust, while still managing to be more efficient than its predecessors. It's these engines that are destined to carry humanity to Mars and beyond. With their incredible capabilities, it's no wonder that expectations were high for the Raptor engines during the Starship launch. So what went wrong? As it turns out, the problem began when the engines experienced a combustion instability during the test. This instability caused uneven pressure distribution in the combustion chamber, leading to excessive vibrations and ultimately engine failure. Now, combustion instability is not a new phenomenon in rocket science. Throughout the years, engine designers have faced similar issues and managed to come up with innovative solutions. The trickiest part is that each engine design is unique, and so are the problems they face. To understand why the Raptor engines failed, we need to dive a little deeper into their inner workings. You see, the Raptor engines use what's called a full-flow staged combustion cycle. This means that both the fuel and the oxidizer are partially burned in separate pre-burners, generating hot gas that powers the engine's turbines. This innovative design is what makes the Raptor so efficient, but it also adds complexity, which can lead to combustion instability. The main cause of this instability is believed to be related to the combustion process of the liquid methane and liquid oxygen. These propellants burn at a very high temperature, causing the pressure inside the combustion chamber to fluctuate rapidly. This is further exacerbated by the fact that the Raptor engines operate at very high pressures, making them even more susceptible to these rapid fluctuations. So what is SpaceX doing to solve this problem? Well, they're certainly not sitting idly by. They have assembled a team of engineers and experts to investigate the issue and find a solution. This dedicated team is working tirelessly, running simulations and tests to identify the root cause of the combustion instability and develop ways to mitigate it. One possible solution is to modify the engine's injector design. Injectors play a critical role in the combustion process, as they mix the fuel and oxidizer together in the combustion chamber. By optimizing the injector design, SpaceX could ensure a more stable combustion process, reducing the chances of instability and engine failure. Another approach could be to tweak the fuel and oxidizer mixture ratios. By altering the proportions of liquid methane and liquid oxygen, SpaceX might be able to find a more stable combustion process that minimizes pressure fluctuations inside the chamber. While these solutions may seem straightforward, it's important to remember that rocket science is anything but simple. There's a delicate balance to strike, as making changes to one part of the engine can have unintended consequences for other components. The process of finding a fix is an intricate dance of trial and error, requiring careful analysis and testing at every stage. It's also worth noting that setbacks are a natural part of progress. SpaceX has been open about its ambitious goals, and the path to achieving those goals is paved with challenges. But if there's one thing we've learned from SpaceX's history, it's that they're more than capable of overcoming obstacles and emerging stronger as a result. Just look at their success with the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. Despite the hiccup during the Starship launch, there is still an immense amount of faith in SpaceX and the Raptor engines. The company has already proven its ability to innovate and adapt, and there's little doubt that they will find a solution to this problem. In fact, SpaceX's CEO, Musk, has already expressed his confidence in the Raptor engines and the company's commitment to making them work. To help ensure a swift resolution, SpaceX is not only leveraging its own expertise, but also collaborating with other experts in the field.
So what does this mean for the future of SpaceX and space exploration? SpaceX has numerous upcoming missions that will rely on the performance of the Raptor engines, making it crucial to overcome these challenges. One such mission is the lunar landing contract awarded to SpaceX by NASA for the Artemis program. The plan is to use the Starship as a lunar landing vehicle, transporting astronauts to and from the Moon's surface. For this ambitious mission to succeed, it's crucial that the Raptor engines perform optimally and reliably. Another exciting mission on SpaceX's horizon is the long-awaited Starship orbital flight test. This milestone will be a true testament to the Raptor engine's capabilities, as the Starship will be launched into orbit and returned to Earth, demonstrating the reusability and reliability of the spacecraft. This mission will lay the groundwork for future crewed missions to the International Space Station and beyond, eventually leading to SpaceX's ultimate goal, Mars. Many of us are curious about the estimated launch date for their next mission. While it's difficult to pinpoint an exact timeline due to the complexities involved in addressing the engine problems, Musk has previously mentioned that he hopes for a Starship orbital flight test within the next few months. This timeline, of course, will depend on the successful resolution of the Raptor engine challenges. Once the issues with the Raptor engines have been resolved, we can expect to see a flurry of activity from SpaceX as they ramp up their ambitious missions, including the lunar landing for the Artemis program and the eventual crewed missions to Mars. With each successful launch, SpaceX will come one step closer to realizing their dreams of making space travel accessible and revolutionizing the way we explore the cosmos. In conclusion, although the recent Raptor engine failure was a setback, it has not derailed SpaceX's ambitious plans. Instead, it has motivated the company to push harder in refining their technology and ensuring their engines are ready for the crucial missions ahead. So let's stay tuned as we witness SpaceX and its Raptor engines overcome these challenges and continue to revolutionize the world of space exploration. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the recent challenges faced by SpaceX and their Raptor engines. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.